a very warm welcome students standard 7th geography and our topic for today is land use we will be doing notes discussion okay students so today we will discuss the notes and then later on the pdf of these question answers will be sent to you so students let's start with it let's discuss the notes so our first heading is fill in the blank fill in the blanks with correct options types of agriculture and ownership of the land can be classified on dash lands the options are fallow forest arable pasture land so which is the right answer students types of agriculture and ownership of the land can be classified on the arable land okay now these fill in the blank students are not in the text bag these are extra fill in the blanks okay so you need to note it down the next fill in the blank the second fill in the blanks is agriculture land which is temporarily not in use is called dash land i repeat the question agriculture land which is temporarily not in use is called the dash land options are pasture land fallow arable forest the answer is yes fallow land the next question is land that is under the ownership of the village panchayat land that is under the ownership of the village panchayat is called the dash the options are forest arable pasture land fallow so which is the land that is under the ownership of the village panchayat you remember students i had explained this to you yes the pasture lands next is since population is more in the urban area dash land use has increased i repeat this fill in the blanks since population is more in the urban area dash land use has increased the options are transport commercial recreational mixed so which is the land yes it is the commercial land use has increased now we move on with the next fill in the blanks that is services ha like hospitals schools etc provided by the local governing body comes under dash use i repeat services like hospitals schools etc provided by the local governing body comes under dash use any guesses students okay let me tell you the options to make it easier recreational land public utility commercial land mixed so which is the answer for this yes it is public utility the next and the last fill in the blanks will be 
serial number dash and dash are distinctive sections of the law pertaining to the ownership of the land serial number dash and dash are distinctive se uh, sections of the law pertaining to the ownership of the land okay the options are 6 and 8 first option second option is 7 and 12 third option is 5 and 7 the fourth option is 6 and 12 so which is the answer you remember i said serial number which is very important that is 7 by 12 extract 7 by 12 extract remember okay students remember these are only few fill in the blanks these are few objectives which we are giving so when we evaluate you you need to read the textbook completely to write your answer so please read your textbook to understand the objectives okay students now we move on to the main question number 2 okay so let's see which the main question number 2 that is your match the following match the following okay so now we will be doing match the following so students first i'll just read the question and then i'll give you the answers for it okay in column a you have arable land fallow land forest land pasture land okay in column a you have arable land fallow land forest land pasture land in column b you have firewood is obtained individual ownership land belonging to entire village the fourth option is agricultural land temporarily not in use okay students again i'll repeat the column b firewood is obtained individual ownership land belong to entire village the fourth one is agricultural land temporarily not in use okay now let's see what are the answers so the first one is arable land so what will be the answer for arable land yes individual ownership the second one is fallow land when i was explaining to you i said arable land is an individual ownership so what about the second land fallow land remember yes it is agricultural land temporarily not in use agricultural land temporarily not in use okay now which is the third one third one is the forest land okay forest land so what will be the answer for it forest what are grown in the forest yes trees so in trees what do we get woods right so what will be the answer firewood is obtained so forest land is firewood is obtained then comes the last one that is the pasture land pasture land what is it used for pasture land land belongs to the entire village pasture land is the land belongs to the entire village and what is the use of it it is used for cattle rearing okay now the second match the following this was the first match the following now the second match the following i will tell column a then column b okay then at the end i will give you the answer for it okay students fine so let's tell me about column a in column a you have commercial 
forest area residential agriculture okay in column a i repeat commercial forest area residential agriculture okay now what will be in column b column b is red blue yellow black green okay the colors are red blue yellow black green okay now we'll discuss the answers to these questions the first one is commercial area remember students the graph was been shown to you when the chapter was been explained okay so for commercial area which color it is blue okay so for commercial area blue color is used to identify the next one is forest area for forest area which one forest is plants are in which color green yes so forest area will be green in color the next is the residential area residential area is in which color residential area is in yellow color agricultural is in red okay agricultural is in red i hope students you have understood this match the following okay commercial is blue forest area is green residential area is yellow and agriculture is in red okay students so did you get the fill in the blanks and now the match the following okay so should we move ahead okay students fine so our next sub topic will be state the sentence is correct or incorrect state the sentence is correct or incorrect okay now i will tell you whether the sentence is the correct sentence or whether the sentence is incorrect okay and if the sentence is incorrect so which is the right one i'll just explain to you okay to make you understand now the first one is so let's start with that state the sentence is correct or incorrect mining is not a type of land use mining is not a type of land use why mining is also a part of land use isn't it yes so the answer is incorrect mining is not a type of land use the answer is incorrect so what will be the right answer the right answer would be mineral rich lands can be used for mining mineral rich lands can be used for mining just this is just for your convenience to understand why it is incorrect okay the next one is so the next is there are factories in the central business district there are factories in the central business district the answer is any guesses is it correct or is it incorrect yes the answer is incorrect and so what will be the right answer for this there are shops and corporate offices in the central business district okay cbd so what are there there are no there are no factories actually there are shops and cooperate offices in the central business district next one so let's see the third one the third statement that is in the urban areas the largest area is used for residential purpose in the urban areas the large area is used for residential purpose so answer will be is it correct or incorrect the answer is correct okay the answer is correct yes 
the urban areas the largest area is used for residential purpose the fourth one the fourth statement the village settlement you issues the 7 by 12 extract the village set attendant sorry the village attendant issues the 7 by 12 extract is this right is there any other place or uh, sorry is there any other person who is giving this 7 by 12 extract or is the village attendant who gives the uh, 7 by 12 extract yes the se- the statement is incorrect remember students i said the village talati issues the 7 by 12 extract the village talati issues the 7 by 12 extract okay now the next one the next statement extract 7 indicates record of right extract 7 indicates record of right is this statement correct yes the statement is completely correct now the next one is extract 12 indicates change in ownership extract 12 indicates change in ownership is this statement correct no this is an incorrect statement extract 12 indicates land types and usage extract 12 indicates land type and its usage okay so till your students i hope you have understood now let's see which is the next sub topic okay so let's go ahead with the next sub topic that is answer the following question now this is maybe two or three sentences okay so answer the following in two or three sentences the first one okay now this is a text pack even the statement uh, that is correct or incorrect one is from the text pack okay here also answer the following question is also taken from the text pack okay now which is the first question the first question is why is agriculture important in rural land use why is agriculture important in rural land use can anyone guess this answer why is agriculture important in rural land use okay so now let's see the answer or those who have answered just check out whether you have understood the same answer or whether you have found out the same answer okay so the answer for this question is in rural areas agriculture is the main occupation agro based activities are also common in rural areas this influences the location for the rural settlement okay i repeat the answer in rural areas in rural areas agriculture is the main occupation agro based activities are also common in rural areas this influences the location for the rural settlement this influences the location for the rural settlement did you get it students now we move on to the next question the next question that is from the text pack state the factors affecting land use state the factors affecting land use 
So, what are the factors that are affecting land use? Any guesses? Yes, ok. So, let us see whether your answers are right. So, the factors affecting land use are climate, soil type of slope, irrigation facilities, natural resources, government policies, location and site, natural resources, housing development policies, transportation routes, industrialization, trade and commerce, playgrounds and entertainment facilities are the few factors affecting the land use. Ok students. So, let me repeat again this answer, state the factors affecting land use. So, the answer for this question is, the factors that are affecting the land use are climate, soil, type of slope, irrigation facility, natural resources, government policies, location and site, natural resources, housing development policy, transportation routes, industrializations, trade and commerce, playgrounds and entertainment facilities are the few factors that are affecting the land use. Ok students, so have you understood this? Now we move on with the next question. Now which is the next exact question? Ok, yes it is. What is there any extra text back questions students? No, I think so. Only two text back questions. But I have added one or two questions. So, let us see that some few extra questions. Ok. So, what is a mixed land use? What is a mixed land use? The answer for this is in some areas, in some areas, we find all the uses of land together. Such area are said to have mixed land use. Ok students, once again let me tell you what is mixed land use. In some areas we find all the uses of land together such areas are said to have mixed land use. Ok. Now what resulted in, now these are few little extra questions which I like to discuss. Ok. That is what resulted in the thought of having planned city for the future. Ok. So what resulted in the thought of having planned city for the future. Limited land, varied land use and burgeoning cities resulted in the thought of having cities for the future. I repeat, limited land, varied land uses and burgeoning cities resulted in the thought of having cities for the future. Ok students, so have you understood now? Now students, we will move ahead with the next topic that is Ok, it is differentiated between, ok, differentiate between. Now, which 
points to be taken or which is the question over here is the first question is 7 by 12 extract and property card so differentiate between 7 by 12 extract and property card just you need to differentiate so let's do that thing and understand what is the difference between 7 by 12 extract and property card okay so first we'll discuss about 7 by 12 extract okay i'll give you the all the points of 7 by 12 extract once i finish that then i will tell you about the property card okay so 7 by 12 extract first point it records ancestral properties and land given by the government to marginal farmers okay it records ancestral property and land given by the government to marginal farmers the second point is the register of the revenue department maintains the record of this Okay. the register department or the register of the revenue department maintains the record of this the third point is it contains the detail of the ownership rights of the family status of debt and loans transfer of ownership and the area under different crops okay now what is that again i'll repeat all the three points together okay all the three points i'll repeat that is it records ancestral property and land given by the government of marg to marginal farmers second point the register of the revenue department maintains the record of these third point it contains the detail of the ownership rights of the family status of debt and loans transfer of ownership and the area under different crops okay now this is all about 7 by 12 extract now we will see what is the property card okay now we will see what is the property card it records the ownership of non agricultural land okay it records the ownership of non agricultural land second point the urban land record maintains a record of this the urban land record maintains a record of this third point it contains the city survey number plot number amount of tax area of the property assigned right to access okay again i repeat it contains the city survey number plot number amount of tax area of the property assigned right to access etc I repeat all the three points of the property card. It records the ownership of non-agricultural land. The urban land record maintains a record of this. It contains the city survey number, plot number, amount of tax, area of the property assessed, right to assess etc. I hope you have understood the differentiate between 7 by 12 extract and property card. Okay. Now we move on with the second distinguish that is your rural land use and your urban land use. What is the difference between a rural land use and an urban land use? So you need to understand what is the difference between a rural land use and an urban land use so first i will discuss the points of the rural land use okay 
so i'll just explain or i'll just give you the points of the rural land use so let's start students okay rural land use first point agriculture is the main occupation rural as it is said rural means agriculture is the main occupation second point in rural area the availability of land is more and the population is less hence population is sparse i repeat in rural areas the availability of land is more and the population is less hence the population is sparse you find sparse population in rural land use the third point is there is a lot of land available okay there is a lot of land available examples of rural land use are fallow land arable land okay so now once again we'll go with all the four points together rural land use agriculture is the main occupation in rural areas the availability of land is more and the population is less hence population is sparse there is a lot of land available in rural land use for example okay the example of land rural land use are fallow land and arable land okay so this is all about rural land use now we move on with the urban land use okay so let's see the explanation of urban land use in urban areas land is used for different purposes first point is what in urban areas land is used for different purposes the second point is in urban areas with reference to population the land is limited therefore the distribution of population is dense in the urban area okay i repeat in urban area the reference to population the land is limited therefore the distribution of population is dense in urban area now we'll see the third point what is the third point over there the third point is it is necessary to make maximum use of land due to its shortage okay it is necessary to make maximum use of land due to its shortage the example of the urban land use are commercial land and residential land okay now again we'll have all the four points together in urban area land is used for different purpose in urban area with reference to population the land is limited therefore the distribution of population in dense is dense in urban area it is necessary to make maximum use of land due to its shortage for example or you can say the example of land, urban land use are commercial land and residential land okay students till here i hope you have understood now let's move on with the next one that is your geographical region okay now let's take the geographical region the first one first one is and this is a text back question students the first one land use for public facility is extremely important in urban areas okay land use for public facility is extremely important in urban areas so what will be the answer for this for the for the various needs of the population some services are provided by the land governing bodies state governments or central government the area under the services 
come under this category example hospitals police officers post offices police station playground schools colleges university etc the land used under this category is important as these services diffuse the tension caused due to bur burgeoning population okay i repeat this answer students for the various needs of the population some services are provided for the local governing bodies state government or central government the area under this services come under this category for example hospitals post offices police station playground schools colleges university etc the land use under this category is important as these services diff diffuse the tension caused due to burgeoning population okay students now let's see the second give reason now this is also a text pack the record of the ownership of non agricultural land is the same as that of agricultural land i repeat the question the record of the ownership of non agricultural land is the same as that of the agricultural land so the answer for this is ownership of non agricultural land is recorded on the property card whereas the ownership of the agricultural land is mentioned in 7 by 12 extract both the documents maintain a record of city survey number plot number amount of tax area of the property assessed right to assess etc okay i repeat ownership of non agricultural land is recorded on the property card whereas the ownership of agricultural land is mentioned mentioned in the 7 by 12 extract both the documents maintain a record of city survey number of plots a number of amount of tax area of the property assessed right to assess etc okay now we move on with the third give reason let's see the third give reason what is that even this is a text pack question students so please check your text pack the question is a region can be classified as developed or developing on the basis of land use the answer for this is we know that in different countries the percentage under various land use differs based on the availability of land the population of a country it qual its quality and needs land use type varies in japan for example the percentage of land under forest area is more and the percentage of land under permanent agriculture is very low as compared to that in india the percentage of land under forest is more while the percentage of land under permanent agriculture is high okay students so now we move on with the short notes i think it's short notes yes right short notes on so we move on with the short notes the first short note is fallow land so let's understand what is fallow land this is an agricultural land which is temporarily not in use in order to improve the fertility of the soil the farmer does not use a part of his agriculture land for one or two seasons okay so i repeat the answer 
what is a fallow land or you can say short note on fallow land that this is an agricultural land which is temporarily not in use in order to improve the fertility of the soil the farmer does not use a part of his agriculture land for one or two seasons okay students have you understood now which is the next short note the next short note is the property card okay a next short note is the property card the answer for this property card is ownership of non agricultural land is recorded on the property card the document showing ownership rights and the area of the property is made available from the urban land record it has the following information city survey number plot number amount of tax area of the property assessed right to assess okay okay students have you understood have you understood the answer for this short note that is the property card answer for this is ownership of the non agricultural land is recorded on the property card this proper this document showing ownership rights and the area of the property is made available from urban land record it has the following information city survey number plot number amount of tax area of the property assessed right to assess etc okay students so now we are finished with the short note our next topic is the answer briefly okay answer briefly the first answer this is not as a text uh, textual question this is an extra question students so make note of it answer briefly first one is what are planned city okay what are planned city after the industrial revolution urbanization occurred on a large scale throughout the world since this urbanization was not well planned cities began to grow in a haphazard manner because of employment opportunity there a large scale migration migration to cities occurred as a result the availability of land is always a serious problem in cities a lot of diversity is visible in the land use of cities limited land varied land use and burgeoning land cities resulted in the thought of having planned cities for the future even before a city grows its land use is predetermined and a planned layout is prepared according to the city cities that are developed okay students okay this is the first brief answer the second brief answer would be how is the 7 by 12 extract red how is the 7 by 12 extract red the answer for this is occupant class 1 means the land which over which the ownership rights are available to generation this is an ancestral property occupant class 2 means the land given by the government to marginal farmers or landless people such land can be sold leased pledged given as charity or transferred only with the sanction of the district officer okay now the next point is below that under assessment the amount of tax levied on the land is given in rupees or paise in other rights the names of the other joint holders are included this also shows the status of loan taken for agriculture and whether they have been repaid or not okay students i hope you have understood the thing okay it is still this much over here i hope students you have got the notes okay now this whatever we have discussed 
will also be sent as a PDF so that you can comfortably write your answers in your notebook. I hope students you have understood it very clearly. Okay. Thank you so much.